Okay, today, due to popular demand, I'm going to start a mod tutorial series. So, this first video is going to be setting up and installing JDK and MCP. Um, you're going to be setting it up for, this is a Windows 7 tutorial for Minecraft 1.8. And you will be setting up MCP to use Mod Loader, not Minecraft Forge, not just the M MCP client, but Mod Loader. So, to start, you're going to have to set up JDK, which you're going to go here. I will provide a link, and you need to download this one. It is JDK by itself and is the correct version. Once you've downloaded that, I have already downloaded that, you're going to want to go. To, and find your you're going to want to find your program files folders wherever they're located on your computer usually you go to my computer you click on hard disk drive and it's in there um, whichever version you install is going to be located in one of these two mine is right here you're going to go into your JDK folder Whichever one it is, this is the old version. It just updated like last week to this version, so you'll probably have 1.7.0 underscore 01. Um, you're going to click on go into the bin folder, then you're going to right click on any of these applications and go to properties. Now you're going to want to copy this line right here, the location line. Just you'll need this later, so go ahead and copy it. Now you're gonna want to go to start. Right click on computer and click on properties. Click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables. Now you're gonna want to create a new path, and the variable name is going to be capital P A T H. The variable value, the variable value, you're just going to paste back in what you have, what you copied from earlier. Click OK, and it should show up right here. Now, to test if you've done this correctly, you go to start, type CMD in the search bar, hit enter, and then type in Java C, J, J A V A C, hit enter. And apparently I did not do it right. So let's go back to here and see what's up. Okay, that's what happened. So see right here? the bin slash bin isn't there for whatever reason did not mean to click on click on that so I'll just go back real quick and fix this you know what I should do it this way edit it and add in slash bin now I'll test it again make sure it works and if you get a whole bunch of code like this it has worked so now you've got JDK set up now you're going to need to download MCP it's currently in version 4.4 .4, and you're going to want to use the mirror link because Mediafire is not working for this link right now. So you're going to open up this and since it is for Windows I'll show you a little trick that I do. Just don't select any of the .sh files. These are for Mac and you will not need them. So you just copy all this and create a folder on your desktop just name it whatever you want 
I always name mine MCP. This is where all of your mod stuff is going to be happening. So you just paste all the all the MCP stuff in here, just like so. So now you're going you're going to want to find your Minecraft folder um, percent app data percent dot minecraft and you're going to want to copy your bin folder and place it inside the jars folder now that you've done that you go inside the bins bin folder open minecraft dot dot, dot jar with whatever you have i use 7 zip 7 zip you can use winrar too delete the meta imp folder and install mod loader exactly like you would if you were installing it to use with mods. Just dra drag it in and copy it and insert it. Now that you're done with that, you should be able to go back here, click decompile, and it should start doing this. And this is decompiling your client. I will skip through this and be back as soon as I'm done. Okay, I'm back. It's not 100% done. Oh, now it is. But I just wanted to run through this. This is all just code and it's decompiling it. You will get this one out of one hunk failed error. That means that mod loader is working and it's a good error, if that makes any sense. So now that it's done, just press any key to continue and MCP is now set up for modding. Thanks. If you have any questions, email please email me. Don't send me a PM on YouTube because I don't like how the YouTube system is set up. It's just much easier to keep up with conversations through email. Um, I'll put all the links to this below. And thanks for watching.